All right, what's up guys? So we're outside, it's a little bit rainy. What we did for our morel experiments this year is uh, we're changing it up a little bit, right? So we just drilled holes in these. So this was a barrel sliced in half, you know, salt or whatever. So two halves of one barrel. We ended up drilling holes all the way up and down it. And uh, this is gonna allow for the moisture content to drain out of it, okay? So uh, with morels, there is a trigger, uh, one of two triggers. And one of them is osmotic pressure in the soil, right? So the only way that you can change the osmotic pressure is by flooding the soil. And you can't flood it and then it be sopping wet the whole time. It has to drain off continuously. You know, like like as in um, spring arriving and the temperature's changing and the morels are, they, they form their sclerotia underground, right? So whenever it, it the snow melts, it seeps into the soil and uh, raises the osmotic pressure you know, thus triggering them to fruit. But it doesn't, like the soil doesn't stay sopping wet. It obviously drains away, so it doesn't kill the mycelium. But a sclerotia can actually survive flooding or fires or extreme cold winters, freezing. You know, that's what the sclerotia is actually for, is uh, to go through a hard winter or a flood or a fire or whatever. And then after all of that, that is whenever they, they fruit. And you can't do it without the sclerotia being formed, right? So anyway, these uh, holes have been drilled in there to, to allow for the moisture content to uh, drain. And then we washed it with bleach and antibacterial soap. And uh, now we're getting ready to take them inside and throw all of the substrate that we have sterilized into it and then we are going to inoculate the substrate that's sterilized in here we're going to inoculate it with sclerotia that we've grown out ourselves. and then so sclerotia will be going in one and then over here um actual um, smaller sclerotia that's been formed inside of a jar instead of a bag uh, will be in this one so I don't want to put both types of sclerotia, um, you know, it's different species. So I don't want to mix them in the same, you know, raised bed. You, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to run an experiment with our sterilized substrate being placed in here. And I'm going to inoculate it with sclerotia um, that I've harvested off one species and cut up and uh, cleaned it up. And I stored it uh, for like three months now so we're gonna see and then over here uh we are going to inoculate this with actual like spawn it, it's it's a mix between the uh grain that we use to grow out the mycelium and uh and then we inoculated substrate with that um and it's just it's just smaller sclerotia and uh it's thicker but it's smaller so it's hard to explain guys you, you'll just you'll see what i mean once once this uh, fails or it works, right? So um, a lot of people have tried doing stuff like this and I just find it fun to experiment, really. Um, one of these days I will have it figured out and we will cultivate on a mass scale uh, outside. We will. Uh, but for now, I'm just running trials and um, you know, it is what it is. Fail or succeed. I, I really don't care at this point. I'm just having fun. And, uh, you know, so inside we're still running trials indoors on morels too. And, uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer as the months go by. So I do have a couple tricks up my sleeve. And, uh, you know, this year we're hoping for a breakthrough. Um, if not, we're going to keep at it. And uh, we're just going to keep hustling. <clears throat> so anyway sterilized substrate going in here and uh, we're going to inoculate it with sclerotia and uh, after a couple of weeks of colonization once it's fully colonized 
we're gonna go ahead and place that outside and then flood the soil. And, or uh, right whenever it's the right temperature and it's raining, we might just stick it out, out here at that point, uh, you know, instead of artificially flooding the soil, um, you know, with like city water or whatever, you know, maybe the, the rainwater and temperature and just like natural conditions, maybe that might be better. I don't know. Um, just whichever comes first. Uh, I was late doing all this stuff last year and I kind of missed uh, all the morels popping up. You know, I was like a week or two late whenever I was trying to do this last year. So I screwed it all up. And uh, this year we want to get it out right on time and uh, let nature do its thing, right? So anyways, guys, I appreciate your support and uh, stay tuned for more morel experiments. And uh, I'll keep updating you guys as we go forward. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good time just kind of following us, following along with us. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. Support us if you can. We need all the support we can get. We're a growing company. And uh, fresh mushrooms on the website. There's tinctures, cultures, and mushroom jerky. Boostedorganics.com. And I'll talk at you later. Peace.